Well, here we are at the Indian burial mounds. I don't know if you can see this, but all the land around here is just flat as a pancake, except for that hill off in the far distance. Um, anyway, it's also too in my deed that this is an Indian burial mound. And there it is. Right now I'm standing at the base of it. But uh, no, I'm not gonna excavate it, okay? I love it, all these people keep telling me, you know, that was buried there is a bunch of giants. Oh, really? <laughs> and I just, it's supposed to rain all next week. So I had to get out and do some walking and some exercise for a few hours, you know? Also too, I uploaded the video on Instagram. I was uh, sunning myself on my creek over there and I heard this uh, squeaking noise, like squeak, squeak. And I sit up and there's this otter staring at me. I uploaded the video to Instagram, which is in the link below. I was like, that's so cool. The otter, the otter apparently is living inside of a hollow tree, which you can see in the video. That's the opposite side of its hollow. I was like, wow, I've got, I got otters on my farm. There's uh, ironically enough, I don't know if it's ironic or oddly enough, there's a bunch of uh, dead white folk buried on the top of the Indian burial mound. I think we call that, would we call that sacrilegious? Or would we call that an affront? Or would we call that impingement? I don't know what we call it. There's like about, yes, I, my farm's got like 20 dead people buried on it. Most of them date, isn't that pretty? Most of them date around uh, 1850s. A lot of them are these little grave markers because they're poor, of course. There are real headstones here. I'll show you those in a second. It's so beautiful here. It's a fat tattooed monkey. Climbs the Indian burial. So there's a standing on someone's grave right there. Here's a couple formal headstones. There we go. Let's go over here. Oh, I was about to trip over another one. There's about 20 dead people. I hope they're dead, right? <laughs> about 20 dead people. These are easily where the coffin collapsed. These are um, cave ins. They probably weren't buried that deep either, to be sure. There we go. There's a Widowmaker branch right in the dead center at the top of this Indian burial mound. There's my farm over there. There's this Widowmaker, this giant tree. Widowmaker is a dead branch will fall down and kill you. That's what we call a Widowmaker. Here's, uh, yeah, John McAllen died in 1854. Have another headstone here. This one obviously fell down. So, here's another one over here. Um, James, James McAllen, 1804, died 1856. Yep. So, I'm standing on top of a bunch of dead white folk that are buried on top of an Indian burial mound. <laughs> it's not funny. Hey, I didn't bury them. You know, don't blame me. I didn't bury these graves a hundred and, what would it be, 170 plus years ago? Essentially 170 years ago. There's my farm. All of this area over here, that's all my farm over there. Fun to walk across. And it's just sunny and nice out. Seen uh, bullfrogs today, fishies. And what I didn't expect, I saw a huge dead turtle carapace, the back of a dead turtle. I mean, that sucker was like two feet wide. It was huge. For out here, that's huge. So it's obviously not a, a tarpon turtle, because I don't even think they get that big. And then I saw a freaking otter. So, it's weird that there's these two enormous trees buried, I mean buried, growing on the top of this uh, Indian burial mound, but 
I actually spread out a towel on my creek, which is over there, and uh, sunned myself, and I laid right next to where the water was rolling over the rippling rocks. It's like, this is nice, you know? There's nobody out here bugging you. Not even anybody close. I don't care what anybody says. I think the most important thing, other than health and uh, wisdom, other than health and wisdom, most important thing to have on this earth is land. I ask you one question. There's my barn over there, off in the distance. There we go. I ask you a question. Since I sold all that stuff last year, I have a pile of hundreds of lenses that I'm not using anymore. I still have tons of lenses. But I'd rather have that collecting dust and depreciating in the back room of my house or have this piece of land that gives you food, clothing, shelter, happiness, communing with nature. It's like, which would you rather have? I think that actually ticks me off when someone says, oh man, you just bought a farm. I bought this last year. And I bought it with stuff that I've been collecting for decades. Decades, I tell you. God, is that a freaking walnut tree? Is that a walnut tree? That is enormous. I think, I think those two are walnut trees. I could be mistaken. Anyway, I'm gonna climb down off the Indian burial mound here. And uh, get back to the farm and have a banana and some seltzer water. Yeah, it's pretty healthy, isn't it? Thanks for watching. This was an irrelevant interlude on a Tuesday. It's 80 degrees outside, 82. Hot damn, that's nice. I'm looking for, uh, they call them tea berries. That's what my grandfather called them. They're little, these tiny little suckers and they grow little, uh, red berries on them. It tastes very minty and they give you a boost of energy. I'm looking for tea berries, but I don't see any here. Some people call them uh, uh, deer berries or something because the deer eat them. There's a reason why they eat them too. I'm trying to find those. Looking for mushrooms, but I'm not a mushroom expert, so, but I, knew, I am a tea berry expert. If I find tea berry, I know exactly what the hell that is. You hear that? There's a woodpecker behind me. As opposed to, like, mean people on the internet, we call those pecker woods. So over there is a woodpecker. Mean people on the internet, we call those pecker woods. Yeah, some southern jargon if you didn't know that. Pecker wood. Thanks for watching. I think that's a freaking walnut tree. Damn, that's huge. That's a big sucker. Actually, I've seen bigger, but it's pretty damn big. Thanks.